God for a smooth ride with no traffic? Or cursing the devil, why the hell did it take so long to get here? Yeah, we all know how hard it is to get from point A to point B here in Manila. Now imagine for a second that instead of sitting in your car, you have to walk for two hours under the heat of the blazing sun. You have to cross a few rivers and streams. You have to take extra effort in your steps because of your stepping on soft volcanic sand. Well, our group did not have to imagine this. We ourselves, for two consecutive days, did this tough trek to spend some time with the young Aita community in San Felipe and San Balas. Yes, we felt the problem space in our burnt skin and our aching muscles. After spending some time with the young elk, helping them plant trees, eating their food, knowing their dances, their games, talking to them, asking them what is important to them, and that being the education, health, and well-being of their children, it became blatantly obvious to us that we can make a lot of impact if we solve this obvious problem. We ask ourselves, how might we improve the mobility of the young so that they can improve their health, education, and well-being? The intervention our group decided on is to create vehicles of transformation, Votran. These are customized, multi-purpose vehicles that serve the needs of the young Now, to kickstart, the process of designing and producing this Voltran, we propose to host the inaugural Mobility for Progress Global Challenge next year in Yangon and San Felipe. So the idea is to have companies such as this put up some prize money, give some technical support for multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary, transdisciplinary students from all over the world to compete in designing vehicles that will be vehicles or mobility solutions that will be useful to the young. The idea is to involve the young from the get-go up to its conclusion. We want them to be involved in setting the design specifications, the winning criteria, and we want them to be in the judging panel. Why are we doing this? It's to ensure that first we do no harm in whatever, in whatever solution we implement. And second, so that whatever uh, winning solution the winning team comes up with will be useful and relevant to the young and their well-being. So you might ask, has something like this been done before? Yes, it happens every year in Australia under the World Solar Challenge. What happens is teams from universities all over the world compete in a race. It's a 3,000 kilometer race from Darwin to Adelaide using only solar power. So it does advance solar technology because of this race, because they have to use interesting ways to achieve it. We're hoping to do the same with the mobility challenge. We're really interested in what students can come up with, given the support and the lure of prize money. So, we're now locking in partners for next year. And my name is Oliver Damien from the Votran team. And if you have questions or would you like if you'd like to sign up as a partner, talk to me afterwards. Thank you.